Spurge here, and in this video, we are gonna break down the Icon Domain Helmet. This is a brand new helmet from Icon. Very lifestyle in its brand, but you know, what does life, or what does Icon do that really isn't lifestyle? So really what you're gonna see here is a helmet that kinda harkens to something you might see from, I don't know, Ruby, if you will. You've got the ridge down the top on this. You've got the vent scheme up front but you got a helmet that's coming in starting around the $300 price point for solid colors, getting up north of the $350, $355 mark for some of the graphics. Now, when we're talking about this helmet, really the key for the domain is that there's tons of different ways you can accessorize it. You can get a face shield that's tinted, but it also has this little peak on the front. You also can opt for a spoiler for the back and it just, you get the spoiler, it just sticks on. And like I said, there's a ton of different graphics for this, but there's also a lot of different ways you can modulate this style for functionality, for design, or you just leave it alone and you wear it as is. Now, from a construction standpoint, it's a fiberglass shell. Three different shell sizes are available. Extra small through small is one shell size. Medium through large is the second shell size. And then large up to 3XL is the third shell size. It is DOT and ECE 2206 safety rated. You've got three intake vents, two up top, one at the chin, and you've got one exhaust vent down there at the back of the, uh, the ridge coming down the back of the helmet. So the one note here, if you're familiar with Icon helmets, if you're an Icon user and you're thinking that you might add this one to your shelf in the garage as well, uh, or if you are a new rider that's never worn any helmet out there before, the sizing on this is different from what we've seen from other Icon helmets. Typically, if you put an Icon helmet on, it fits intermediate oval, which means a little bit longer front to back, a little narrow down the side of the head, and it works for the majority of the American market. This one is definitely leaning on the round side, which is a departure from what we normally see from Icon. So what that means is a little bit shorter front to back, a little bit more room on the side of the head. So you either have to size up or you might end up with a helmet that just isn't gonna fit your noodle because it's not the right shape. And that's an important note for helmet manufacturers and for helmet users is finding the right shape is gonna be key. So we have a video out there on how to size and buy motorcycle helmets. If you have any questions as to the actual size and shape on this, but it does bear mention because if you're used to wearing Icon helmets, this might fit a little bit differently for you and it might not work. It might not be as comfortable. So with that out of the way, let's move on to the old meat and potatoes, they say. So really what you're gonna see here is a lifestyle-esque helmet, but with safety in mind. So safety and comfort, actually, I should say. You've got a switch on the inside, which actuates the vent up front, breathes a ton of air. You have two vents up top. The one thing that I will say here from a nitpick standpoint is when you have gloves on, even when you don't have gloves on, the vents are a little bit tricky to open. So what I would say is I would recommend opening or closing the vents before you put the, the helmet on. So if you're going out and it's a warm day, go ahead and open the vents. If you're going out and it's a cool day, close those before you get on the bike. Otherwise you're gonna be fumbling around and they are a little bit hard to actuate. The other note here too, the face shield doesn't really have any set detents. You've got the one up top, so you can kind of keep it in the open position. And then you can kind of, I was trying to see if there was even one in the middle there. I thought there was, but there's really not. So you don't even have like a city crack. You can kind of push it, but it doesn't really want to stay. So just if they would have worked a little bit of a, of a detents in there, that would have been, that would have been swell. Overall though, it's a pretty easy, I'll do it with this one so you can actually see. You just pull down the lever and then it pops right out. And then all you have to do is line that back up and you pull the lever down and it pops right back in. I should say, I should make sure I can push that back in before I just say it's easy peasy, but yeah, it's just like that. So a little lever down, a little lever up and it pops right into place. So really nothing complicated as far as if you wanna switch out face shields to something a bit more colorful. No complicated locking mechanisms, it just kind of closes down and then you just pull up right here. Solid gasket closure as far as the gasket being used and it worked very well when we test rode this out on the street. So again, our only real nitpick with the face shield is that it would have been nice if there was some kind of a, of a detents worked in for just riding around town. As it stands right now, full up is, uh, is really the only lockable position besides full down. Um, if you're looking around the back and you're gonna see these little pods on the side, this helmet will accept the new Icon 
Helm Link system. The Helm Link is going to be a proprietary design for Icon, but designed by Cena. And you have two screws on the inside. This little pod screws out, and then you can screw in the Helm Link system. Comes in around the $350 price point. And if you're trying to figure out which this is closest to in Cena's line, it is comparable to the 50S. So they're top of the line mesh and Bluetooth unit. You have the battery pack, which fits back here. And what I like about this is that the pods are designed a little bit further in the back of the helmet. So if you don't want to use their proprietary system, you already have a comm system, you just want to bolt it on the front, you can still do that without having it overlap this big pod system. A lot of the manufacturers with this new integrated Bluetooth setup, uh, they're having them you know, right up front, so you kind of are being forced to use them versus just going to a clip style where you can kind of clip it on anywhere. So Icon gives you the option to use the Helm Link system, which sits nice and clean in the back. That would then integrate in with the battery and everything inside the helmet. Or if you already have a comm system and you don't want to go out and invest in a new one, um, you can still just do the clip-on design up on the front side of the uh, of the helmet as well. So. Pretty sweet little system with the way this is. We, ha we do have a video breaking down the Helmling in its entirety, so if you have questions on that, you can check out that video as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the meat and potatoes of the inside of the helmet. I'm using meat and potatoes a lot in this, in this video. I'm, I'm wondering if I'm hungry for lunch or I've just got, you know, meat and potatoes on the brain. It was just St. Patrick's Day, and I feel like that's a good Irish meal. Um, Again, we're getting off topic in these videos. My God, Spurgeon, pull it together. Chin curtain is easily removable. I will say that there is a tremendous amount of air that flows up through the front of this helmet as well as through the front face shield. So just keep that in mind. If you're really riding in colder weather, you're gonna get a lot of airflow through the front chin bar of this helmet. So the chin curtain helps a little bit with that, but still a lot of airflow through the front up and then through the face shield. Great if you're usually riding in warm weather. Taking a look at the inside on this double D-ring closure, nothing surprising there from Icon. Does have the Hydra Dry liner. This original run is gonna be done in a kind of like a red design and it is contoured to your cheek, easily in and out as far as if you wanna clean it. Uh, the one thing I'll note is that you wanna be careful with these snaps. We actually cracked one of the snaps over on the uh, on this side right here, just pulling the, the cheek pads in and out. So just be careful when you're pulling that, be gentle. Would love to see them maybe use a harder plastic. I don't think we were really yanking at this too hard. Uh, so just be careful when you're pulling the cheek pads in and out of the helmet. And we'll go ahead and pull the liner out right away. I can show you the speaker pockets in here and uh, exactly what you can expect from a ventilation scheme. Remember, we got those two uh, exhaust vents and you've got two, I'm sorry, two intake vents and one exhaust vent. I was being careful there because uh, I had a, a loose snap. Taking a look at the inside, you've got, you can see how the channeled cutouts for the, uh, for the EPS push that airflow from three channels down to one channel out back. And then you can see you got the speaker cutouts, which allows you to easily route that system in. You've got cutouts for the wiring. And then in the back, this has a little tab on it. You pull this out and that's exactly where your battery would go if you are using the, uh, the Helmlink system. So again, really uh, uh, sleek from what we'd expect from Icon as far as it's integrated. The graphics for these, we've seen some of the graphics already. They're gonna be wild, um, but it is really just a, a lifestyle helmet from Icon, but with safety integration in mind. Again, you're getting that ECE 2206 safety rating and you're getting a helmet that speaks to probably a more premium buyer out there from its design standpoint. If you're looking at this, chances are you've looked at something like a Ruby uh, and you just couldn't stomach the price. So this is gonna give you that kind of style, but in a much more affordable uh, designed helmet with again, an interesting accessories package, exactly what we'd expect from a brand like Icon. Wild, wacky, and you can configure it to match your personality. So. Enough on that. If you have more questions on this helmet, you can always check out the, uh, the info button on your desktop or mobile device that'll allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are out there putting this helmet through its paces. And if you have more questions as to which helmet is right for you and your riding style, you can always give us a call or reach out via email to our customer service reps. They can walk you through all of the different helmet options available to make sure you find the right helmet to match with your riding style as well as your price point. 
I want to thank you for joining us for this look today at the Icon Domain Helmet. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.